Hey, what's up? Hello. And how the heck are you? I'm Fastidious and welcome back to my channel. Now it's day number 23 in the free to play series. And let me tell you, things are going swimmingly in this Yoshi Fragment Fusion. We already have 15 fragments in the books. We're going to get five more by tomorrow morning for a nice even 20 fragments, 20% of the way there. And yeah, just a lot of progress on the account in general. Really excited to show you guys. So let's jump in. Fastidious. Fastidious. So, gotta kick it off, guys, with just a bit of housekeeping. So, in terms of account news, I've got two things to tell you. We'll start with the good. Starting yesterday afternoon, I officially have a Twitch channel. You'll definitely find the link in the description, and we already have two live streams in the books. I actually just got off a live stream right before starting to film this video, and it was, it was really fun. It went over two hours. We had at one point like 17 or 18 concurrent viewers. I mean, it's nothing to write home to my parents about, but it's definitely uh, baby steps. And it was really fun. Honestly, that's why we do it. It was a great time. So that will be happening with some frequency. I'll have a form formal schedule. I'll probably let you guys know about that tomorrow or the next day once we have that figured out. Um, but yeah, so much fun. Number two, kind of bad news. I hope you guys aren't that disappointed. I know I'm a little disappointed myself. But I said the Claude Beast Speeder Champion Guide would be coming out tonight. Um, some non-raid related personal stuff and business stuff came up. So I actually am going to have to delay that till either Sunday or Monday. I'm going to wait till, uh, I'll show you guys right now. I'm going to wait till today ends because it currently is the Ogren Tribes. Of course, I don't have him on this account. But uh, I want to see how long until the next time the Ogren Tribes opens because he is a beast in Faction Wars. He's a beast everywhere. He's a beast feeder, really. That was a terrible joke. Um, but yeah, sorry for the delay, but it's coming. And finally, we're having our first ever live shard pulls this Saturday, in just two days time. My girlfriend Johanna is gonna join me for the 2X event with Sacred Shards. We already have about 20 Sacred Shards lined up to pull. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna happen at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday. Um, so if you can make it, please hop on Twitch, come watch us. And if not, that will be in the video upload that evening, so you can also watch it there. Enough about me, enough about the channel. Let's talk about the account. Hopping on in to the fusion. Let's look. Well, I meant fragment fusion, there we go. Uh, number two, he's now our second most completed fragment fusion. We got Burgoth the Malformed at number one, this this jerk who kept dropping shards during those annoying uh, second anniversary event rewards. Uh, but Yoshi, we got 15 fragments already. So cool, we're 15% of the way there. Um, How'd we get it? We, if it ever loads, yeah, we finished Classic Arena Takedown, still really zoomed out. I'm going to mention that every time because it really bothers me. Um, I think this was 200 points. We're all the way up at 322. We're 70 points behind second place, so that is unfortunate. But we got the fragments. Um, we are definitely going to get third place, so we'll get a bit of Relentless. Maybe we'll get second, but probably not. But that's five fragments. Then the Dragon Torment. I was waiting for you guys. Not only did we finish it at, uh, I think it was 1300, we got all the way to 2050, and you see here, I, I actually got it almost exact. I stopped at 2056, but enough for an epic book. Um, and we are currently in ninth place. So I would love to finish in actually ninth or 10th place. Honestly, any of these places, I'd rather finish sixth to 10th than I would fourth or fifth, I think. I would rather have these gems or energy than an ancient shard or some random relentless gear. Um, rare relentless gear at that. Um, so I'll keep an eye on this, but I will not push unless I think these guys might come for my spot. And even still, I might not. But how do we get it done? 2050. Well, last night, right after I finished uploading the YouTube video, I used that 500 energy, finally. The one I saved. Sorry, guys. Let me just claim this from the daily pack today, the free pack. Um, I uh, claimed, finally, that 500 energy from the first of the four, uh, first of the five second year anniversary packs. Um... But it had to be used at some point. I didn't just want it sitting there. Uh, and yeah, I just ran that overnight. Um, I think I was able to do my 30 multi-battles. So what was that? 420 energy. So I think I used 80 of it and I run, run through the night. It got us almost there. And then I haven't used any other energy today except for the energy they give us. This one here. Um, the one from the advanced quest. We finished our advanced quest again. And then this one from the five classic arena battles so we use the 500 but no, none extra so if you look here in the challenges still very well maintained 100 here and then i've shown you guys this before 80 80 80 and this is 100 so that's 340 so we have 440 sitting in the challenges and we still have 600 
in referrals, so that's 1,040, and then all these refills. A lot of refills, a lot of refills. Something like, uh, I, I am gonna have to use this one really soon, actually. I'll use this one right after the stream, because this is actually the update gift, so that only lasts two days, as opposed to the, the every third day daily present, which uh, lasts 99 days. So you see this one I've had for 14 days already. But yeah, honestly, I think it was a very efficient day. It actually has gotten to the point where I've been working, I've done a bit of campaign for anyone who's on stream. You saw towards the end, I was just sick of dragon. There's no reason to keep doing it. We have, now these guys are sitting at like level 36. Now we got them to 40, 40, and then Valkyrie, she's currently not Valkyrie. If it was Valkyrie, this account would be very different. No, Valerie, why don't you come on over? Um, just 20 minutes left, she'll be at 40 as well. Um, and then who else? This is another soon to be level 40. You see I have him in the worst gear ever, just so I could run him in Fashion Crypts, kill this first stage of Lizardman, because um, he does have this AoE on both moves. If you need to just clear 12 keys somehow and it's Lizardman day, I suggest Saris, far, uh, farmable stage uh, stage 10, farmable uncommon. Enough about this annoying guy. So that's one chicken, two chicken, three chicken, four, um, and I'm getting a lot of the smaller chickens ready, level 30s, you know, low level, uh, level one and low level three stars. Some 20s. You see, we're, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to have Bellower at 6-star, bearing a crazy pull on Saturday for Sacred Shards. Not for the 2x, we just have one saved. But yeah, making some good progress. And then, of course, on top of that, if we go into rankings, we have been saving all the chickens we've been getting along the way. So this was uh, from the Dragon Tournament event. I got a 4-star, and then I've gotten 3-stars from, like, little... Uh, that's from the Dragon Tournament, but from little events, I've gotten three star chickens, and then this five star was from the last day of the second anniversary gifts. The first day had the five star, and the last day did, we used the first five star on Apothecary, and then the second one we're saving for tomorrow when the champion training arrives. Not only that, tomorrow we're also, I think it's tomorrow, the 19th, yeah, tomorrow we're also getting the Fire Knight tournament, and I have done three of them because I wanted to do tests to see how well we're doing in the Fire Knight. For anyone who has checked the progression log, You'll see we went up another stage, which I'll show you in one second. I was just checking the auto times, and I actually got three of these battles in. It's going to line up really well, because when the tournament comes, we'll do the next two. Of course, we've already three-starred uh, stage seven of hard, and then 25 lesser potions force keep, and then 25 void. Timed that out really well, because tomorrow also is force keep. So we're going to make mission progress on top of all this Yoshi progress. Now, while I'm in here, I'll pull this up. And you can see we cleared, I did this live on stream as well. Hold on, I'm gonna, get the, I'm gonna grab the quickest sip of water. Thank you. Um, I did Sage 11, this was obviously a full manual. This team has not many multi-hitters, you know, two hitter, three hitter. I actually it wasn't with Beller, it was with um, War Maiden. So on the A1s, one hitter, one hitter, one hitter, one hitter, three hitter, two hitter. It's very hard. I cannot imagine this would work on auto with any shred of consistency, but you wanna know what does? at least in probably the 12 tests I've done over the past few days. This does. Uh, you gotta run Bellower instead of uh, War Maiden for that decreased speed instead of the uh, potential for a two hitter on her A2, but she's the bad affinity, so it's not worth it. This has not failed me yet. Um, the runs can be long. As you can see here, my best time on it was 3.06. I did that during the stream as well, but I also had a run that was like five minutes. So I think this is probably gonna be like a three minute run to about, yeah, five, five and a half minute run. But it works, and that's what counts. I'm very curious to see how competitive the group I'm placed in is it, how competitive the group in which I'm placed is for the Fire Knight. I would love to push here because I want stun gear for Bellower. Something I'm also considering though um, is maybe putting him in Day's gear. I have to show you this, guys, but I'm I'm gonna tease it. Stick around for at least one more minute. This is the best piece of uh, gear on the entire, entire, entire account. It's not even close. I'm gonna click here so we can get in, not there. You're gonna have to wait for one second. We have gotten some half decent days gear. Of course, days gear is worse than stun gear. It has a higher percent chance of placing a sleep buff than stun gear does a stun buff. I'll show you stun gear. It was at 20%, is that what it is? 18%, so same as Relentless, but a different category. So this is an 18% chance to place stun, but of course stun is much better than sleep. Why? Well, for anyone who didn't know, they both have, they both have the same effect in locking out an enemy. However, with days, you put them to sleep, and if someone's asleep but you hit them before their turn comes, they'll wake up and they'll still take their turn. So this requires a lot more, uh, this is not reliable on auto at all, and it's just kind of worse than stun across the board, but it does have a higher percent chance, 25 instead of 18, 
And I did get this piece, which is pretty nice. This resistance roll wasn't great, but I really wanted the accuracy, you know, for something like a Bellaware or just to be able to land this days on whomever it goes on to. Would have loved a speed roll. Maybe I'll still bring it to 16. We'll see if we get a speed roll. Then we have a really nice helmet. Is Oh no, it's a really nice, uh, yeah, really nice weapon with some crit and crit damage. Decent gloves, pairs well with this. Um, I'm not convinced. And I'm less convinced now, because I do have good shields, like you see. But I'm less convinced now that I leveled this shield up. Brace yourself. Day 23, and we have this piece on our account. Five star, legendary, perception, thank you, Forge. I pulled this like four days ago. Can't remember if I teased it on the account, but I finally rolled it up. Triple speed roll with a plus two from a glyph that we got in Faction Wars. That's 20 speed on a, on a piece this early game. It feels good. Feels good. Really, really thrilled about it. We also leveled up, uh, this was on plus 11, we got it to 12. We leveled up uh, this helmet um, from 15 to 16, that Relentless Helmet, and then the chest, the defense percentage chest on Frozen Banshee, and the speed, four star speed boots on Frozen Banshee, and that was more than enough to now get us our, fifth, our, our next five that brought us to 15 fragments from this artifact enhancement event. Shout out to Polarium, shout out to the guys running Raid for making this so doable. A thousand points, I did this in like 800,000 silver. I mean, I had things at plus 15 and I did get a couple lucky ones that leveled up really quick. Maybe it was more like 850,000, but still, like, a thousand is so nice. Oh, I'm so happy about it. I was thinking this might be like 2,500 and anyone who watched the video yesterday, you know I was concerned that we were low on silver and we only had like 1.9 million saved or something like this. So, and I'm nearly, let's see, so we're at 1493, we're seven away. That's like leveling a five or six star piece to plus four from getting to this threshold, which is 100, uh, flat 100 energy. Um, and then I'll see how we're doing on silver. We're going to be doing a ton, a ton of campaign farming in the next couple of days. Uh, so maybe there'll be a lot of silver coming our way. Who knows? It'll be interesting, very interesting to see. I am tempted to push further and at least get to 3,300. We'll at least get to 26, 25 and get these gems. Maybe get to 3,300 or 4,000. However, that will be very expensive. And in just three days, we have another one of these coming. But however, however, maybe it will only cost 1,000 again. And like that's only like 2 million, 3 million silver. It's pretty doable. I don't know, I'm thinking out loud here. I will not go out of my way to push on this, but there's a great, great artifact. I won't, I won't feel bad about leveling it up to plus 12, maybe. Um, and you see, I'm already saving energy here. I'm still saving energy in the arena tournament. That's why we have a red thing over here. So we're doing, we're looking fantastic. On energy. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We are looking just, tr it, it looks fantastic. We're in such a good spot. I could not be more confident about this fusion. Um, summon rush. It's gonna, for anyone who doesn't know, this weekend starting tomorrow, I think it's like 9 a.m. Eastern time. So do the math for wherever you live. Um, we're getting a 2X on sh on Sacreds. Be weary. Um, it's gonna line up with the Summon Rush, but the Summon Rush starts just uh, after. So don't just the second it opens, pull your Sacreds. Wait till the Summon Rush actually comes. But uh, probably as good a time as any to pull a Sacred. I think uh, the best time to pull Sacreds non 2X with standing between Champion Chase and Summon Rush is definitely Summon Rush because you're getting the expected value, how many points you're going to get from that one pull. It is nothing to do, it is not contingent upon which champion you draw, you know you're getting 500 points. However, even during a 2x sacred on a champion chase, you either get 250 points for an epic or 500 points for a legendary, there's only a 12% chance you're getting a legendary, so the expected value is still something like 280 points. I, I did the math earlier. And if that's something you guys are interested in, um, I was thinking of making, maybe making like a mini video, it'd probably only be like six or seven minutes, but just breaking down one, like introducing you to the difference between a champion chase tournament and a summon rush event, and then talking about uh, yeah, expected values of shards in champion chase tournaments compared to summon rush where it's a fixed guaranteed value. Because there's variability in champion chase because you could pull a mystery shard and it could be a common or uncommon, only one point, or it could be a rare, 10 points. Same thing ancient, it could be, what is it, 20 points or 10 points for a rare, maybe 250 points for an epic or even 500 points for a legendary. So I think it's it's an interesting thing that maybe not everyone knows about, or maybe they do. And if you all do, then just tell me. Fastidious, don't 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 bother wasting your time with that. Um, what else is there really to say? 
Um, I'll quickly... Did I show you the Dungeon Divers? Doesn't matter. I don't, I don't think I did. I, I'll show you guys. Sorry, my head's a bit all over the place. It's been a very, very long day. Um, Dungeon Divers, we are... The reason I was saying we're going to have five more Fragments by the morning, because we are... What is the, what is the math here? 68. So we're 360, 268 points away. That is very easy. We have a day and a half to do it. So that's that's a guaranteed five fragments. There's no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, best place to end probably is Arena. I mean, a lot of con a lot of content creators made made videos talking about this. I know I mentioned it yesterday in my video. It's all over Reddit. The Arena is a a hot mess. Um, it's just wild out here. Look at all these defeats in a row. This just normally does not happen. Like the mismatching is crazy. All these legendary teams left and right. Everyone's got all their champions at 60. It's it's intense stuff, you know? And and I keep, I, I think of it as, as like kind of ping-ponging, you know? I, I hit the ball this way, and the ball is the account. We get to we get to silver one, and then we get hit right back down. Our defense ping-pong back over to bronze four. It's back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it's very frustrating. And then the matchups we keep drawing. I mean, look at these teams, guys. Look at this team. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, guys? You have one of the best Void Legendaries in the game, some people would argue the best Legendary in the game, and then one of the best Arena Leads in the game, and also an incredible le Legendary in and of itself. And then you have maybe the best Rare in the game. It's just three more Legendaries. Another Mashal is one of the best Legendaries. Two more Legendaries. It just keeps going and going. This is a team that I would expect to see. This is not. <laughs> anyway, let's refresh. Maybe we'll find a winnable one. This looks doable. Let's try this. So we've been having trouble, like I said. I will show you though, I told you I'd be pa uh, practicing patience. I'm sorry, this is defense. Attack, I did lose two right on stream. This team, I really wanted to beat them, but before that, had a nice little run. Putting up a lot of victories. And then yeah, had a couple defeats. But uh, you can see it being more selective, but then of course I was on stream, I was tempted. I was like, let's try to get a win against a very hard team. It's a very hard team. Basically, this Bad Al sold at us. I was able to take all three of these guys down each time, all three epics, and then Bad Al just... Whoop. Anyway. So, what are we up against? We're up against a 25% all battles defense aura, thanks to Sepulcher Sentinel. You know, same as us, speed, tail for the nuke, but then they've got the Great Mashald. But I think it, we're going to be faster. If we're not, we're screwed. If we are, I'd say we have about an 80% chance to win. We are. Okay. So what could go wrong? So weak affinity, um, spirit to force. So War Maiden might not land. 35% uh, chance she doesn't land her decrease defense, but she does. This should be probably not a sweep, but I, I would think everybody but um, Sepulcher is going to fall down. Or they, or it's a sweep. All right. Is there one more in here for us? Is there one more waiting? There is not. I'm not pushing our luck. I'm happy to end on a win, guys. Bit of a tornado of a video today, I would describe it as, but uh, quite fun. Um, let's see. I also will quickly show you Delaware just single-handedly bringing us to Sage 6. I mean, it's nothing, again, nothing to brag about, really. But if you get a Delaware, I mean, any champion with AoE on every skill against low-level faction wars, just use those script keys, you know? Don't just let them sit there. That's my one uh, maybe obvious tip of the day. But guys, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this fusion. The more I think about Yoshi, the mo more I fight to get him, the more I want him, the more I can I'm just dreaming about what our arena team's going to look like once we get him. Let me know in the comments, are you guys as pumped for Yoshi as I am? Are you collecting your fragments? How's this going? Are you scared of the summon rush? Are you worried about the champion chase? Um, I'd love to know how this whole event's going for you. And if there's any way I can help, you know, come on my stream, go to my Discord, ask me as many questions, just hit me up in the comments. Whatever. I want to help you guys. I want everyone everyone to get a yoshi what amazing way to celebrate i don't know they're calling it saint patrick's day let's just call it mid-march um thank you so much for watching again if you like this video if you enjoy my content please like and subscribe you know it's free to play and it's free to click i have been fastidious and i will see you tomorrow fastidious